There's a waterfall ahead of us. A herd of horses following us. Welcome to Iceland. A magical country with stunning scenery, where there is a small but mighty horse waiting to take you on the ride of a lifetime. I'm Alyssa from Discover the Horse, and today is the start of an amazing adventure. I can't wait to bring you along. We're heading out for a six-day riding trek in the mountains, and we're gonna be riding on Icelandic horses. So if you're ready to go for an incredible ride, let's get started. Icelandic horses are the only horse breed in Iceland. They have been bred here for over a thousand years, making them one of the purest breeds in the world. To start the trip, I'm picking up riding gear from Hrimnir, an Icelandic company that specializes in gear for both Icelandic horses and riders. There are no contagious animal diseases in Iceland, and so the horses are not vaccinated. As an equestrian traveler, it is important to protect the horses by using new gear or making sure any used riding clothes are properly disinfected. We're here at the BSI bus station, as you can probably hear the buses in the background, waiting for the bus that's gonna take us to the start of the ride. Eastland's Hestar is owned by a group of Icelandic farmers, and horse lovers from all around the world travel to Iceland for their rides. Uh, most of the farmers, they breed their own horses and they train them themselves, so they, they know the horses very well. They know the area where they are riding. So, so that's what we are trying to, to accomplish for our uh, guests to, to be part of the family. And, uh, and take in the same message as the horses and the land and the landscape are telling the farmers. So. This is our guide, Ingvar. The highlands that we are riding uh, through up there, Landmannaöger and Landmannahedler, is, is sort of my area, my sheep. I bring them there every summer and, and run them up again in the autumn. So you shouldn't get lost with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was a <laughs> We just had dinner at the farm and now we're here at a guest house to spend the evening. Good morning. It is our first official day of riding here in Iceland. I am so excited to go meet the horses and get ready for our ride. Today is gonna to be about getting to know the Icelandic horse and their relaxed and fun way of riding. They have a smooth gait called the tolt, which we will be experiencing a lot of on this trip. But first, breakfast. We also pack sandwiches from the breakfast table to put in our saddlebags for lunch. Hopefully we won't need this one, but better to have it in case. All right, we've got saddles, we've got nosebands, rain gear, saddlebags, helmet. We're missing one key item, but it's over there, so I think that's next. Although they are small, with an average height of 12.2 to 14.2, they have a sturdy build and can easily carry adult riders. All right, he's my first ride. This is Frapp. His name means Raven. This is gonna be such a fun day. We are riding in Icelandic saddles, which are very similar to dressage saddles, with the addition of really cool looking stirrups. Icelandic horses are gated, which means that in addition to walk, trot, and canter, they also have a gait called the tolt, which is a smooth four-beat gait. And some Icelandics also have a fifth gait called the flying pace. These added gates are natural for the horse, and they are born with the ability to gate. We just tolted along these nice dirt lanes. Now we're taking a break along here, and it's just absolutely beautiful. Thank you, sir. Welcome. How's your horse? Wonderful. Oh, 
Well done. Leg one. Thank you. Oh, kind one, you. Mr. Raven. We're switching to our second horse for the day. So we just put the horses away in this little paddock over here. And now we are next to this big pasture. And so they're heading out to bring the horses up. This part is so exciting. Which one's mine? Yeah. Who do I get? Who do I get? <laughs> the stripling is uh, Alessa. Nice to meet you. Are you ready to ride? That's it for the day. We're going to let these guys go. And then we'll be back tomorrow. That is a really fun horse. She like... She's just so smooth and we were flying all over this like various terrain and just heading along and she just knew exactly what to do. It was so much fun. So now we're bringing the saddles in and we just have to put them in a spot anywhere along here that we're going to remember for tomorrow because we get to keep the same saddles, saddle bags and nose bands. So I have to pick my spot. <laughs> Our home for the evening is a nearby guest house where we get a lovely dinner and cake before heading to bed. Another beautiful day here in Iceland. We are getting ready. Oh, I have a little puppy visitor. And today is really exciting because we get to ride with a herd for the first time. That's the, one of the main thing I would say for people to come to Iceland and ride right here is because of the free riding herd. This opportunity to ride with loose horses it's a big thing for people to, to, to enjoy. Because for most people, riding with loose horses is just a, a wild dream. That will never happen, they think. But we can make that happen. Our crew working hard. Yeah. <laughs> the daily saddle search. Not mine, not mine. <laughs> Here we are. Before we continue, there is something you need to know. Around the world, there are various ways of herding animals. For example, in Sweden, there is a relaxing singing call. Here in Iceland, they do things a little differently. Wow. It is a sea of horses. Ingvar is working hard matching us with our horses for the day, and Hannes is making sure everyone has their shoes. <laughs> so this is Hitling. She is my first horse for today. I think she looks pretty sweet, so. I think it's going to be a good day. I mean, this is the way to ride, right? <laughs> the rest of the herd is actually going to be coming up soon. So we're going to get a phone call when they're on the bridge. And then the whole herd is going to come through over here. We're going to wait for them to go by. And then we'll all already be on our horses. So we're just going to head out after the herd. Hey, hey. 
we just came up over this ridge and you can see the river in a really cool way and the valley is just so pretty. Every horse rider has to ride in Iceland at least once. Taking a little break to have some lunch. <laughs> Hang out with my pals. This is horse number two for today. Horse number four total. She likes snacks. We're heading out from our break and all the horses are here in the paddock so they're gonna actually head out after us. There are always two groups of riders with the herd. The front riders lead the way, and the back riders make sure no one is left behind. There's a waterfall ahead of us, a herd of horses following us. This is so neat. And that's how we bring the horses along. Not far from the paddock are the ruins of a Viking longhouse. In 1104, Mount Hecla erupted and it destroyed many of the farms in the valley. Back at the paddock, it's time to get a third horse and complete the day. We stayed last night at a mountain hut. That is not where we stayed. Just a really fun community experience with bunk beds, guitar playing. We had a nice dinner after our long ride yesterday. I'm really looking forward to today because it's supposed to be a really unique landscape and uh, almost like a moon-like or Mars-like experience as we head up into the middle of nowhere. I get really excited each time we get a new horse because we get to experience all of these different types of horses and each one has their own unique personality and different way of riding on the trail. So it's been really fun to ride a wide variety of different horses. Never a dull moment here. <laughs> There's a really neat contrast out here from, from the greens to Mount Hecla in the background and then we're on lava fields right now. It's lunchtime. Oh, I sat in the right spot. Our talented Icelandic riding crew. <laughs> You can feel when you have the three horses running with you when you're riding, but the whole atmosphere just changed. All the horses get a little bit more exciting. They, they, they somehow just take the power, the, the group power into the adventure. You can feel much more energy and power and everything clicks together when you get like a hundred horses running free with you. That's just, just unbelievable feeling. Where we have the horses right now, we actually have them penned in, kind of in between these rocks here. Just rode through the lava fields, and you can see they just stop right along here. It goes from just soft grass to these like crazy rocks of lava. And all of this is from Mount Hecla, which is like 20 miles away from here.
when you're riding in Iceland, just don't forget to take it in and give your time to, to look around you and take a deep breath and enjoy it. Iceland does not disappoint, especially for an equestrian that likes to do amazing horse rides. Every part of today was so unique, interesting, and fun. This guy's my third horse for the day. He is a super smooth tolter and just nice ground covering gait. And you're very sweet. Yes, you are. <laughs> so I hope I get to ride him again. This is where the horses get to stay for the evening and we get to head over here where we'll get dinner in a couple of hours, which I am quite excited about. <laughs> I'm filming the luggage train. Very not helpful. Not that's heavy. Bad excuse for not working. <laughs> Woohoo! Mission successful! <laughs> you take such good care of us. But the evening isn't over yet. We've been told to grab our coats and head outside. What are we doing? The big mystery. Big mystery, we're going now. <laughs> there is a ghost in here. That's why I told you about Ayat, because he is in here. The one who fell off the cliff? I don't want to see this. Many they just keep going. Yeah, yeah, keep going. Yeah, keep going. Amazing. Yeah, just, <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> we appear to be approaching our destination. Atlir means cave, and land manna means the people in the area. So this is the cave, the people in the area. If, it, if the weather was bad, they would bring the horses in here. And it was always bad. <laughs> She has lifted all, so she, she should actually tell the story, not me. So why exactly is Eileen wearing a blue glove in the cave of the people in the area? How should I put it? Rock and shell. Oh, you're so straightforward. Oh, no. It's rock and shell. No. Put it in your mouth. When you're happy with it, yes. Simply swallow it and smile. Are you sure? <laughs> 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 Alright, you get, you get it. Right, here we go. Here we go. Okay. 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 When you're hurting the horses. I was going to bed last night and we're all in this one room. So we're in these bunk beds and everybody's laughing and there's banter going back and forth. And just as you're falling asleep, you're listening to just the joy of the people around you. And uh, then once people fall asleep, you're listening to a little bit of snoring. But I love seeing how we are all connected because of our passion for horses. This trip is unlike anything I have ever experienced. Saddles are ready to go. Horses are getting some new shoes. It is a little bit chillier today, so we have all added a few extra layers. I think one of the really interesting things about these horses is how well they know their job. You've got these horses that are like, ready to go and just charge out there and go full speed ahead and then when you get to a place that you need to you can just ride on a loose rein walk through difficult terrain 
They also stop and just stand anytime you need when the whole herd is getting together or when you stop for a break. They're so easy to handle. When we take the saddles off and have lunch, we can just stay there with the horses. And it's so interesting just to see how this breed has been developed and how they use them as these working horses. So it's pretty cool. It's also interesting when you when you when you feel how you can bound with your horse and trust your horse. And we are we are used to it because uh, here in Iceland we, we use horses. We have used horses for 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 hundreds of years to survive and, and for transportation and for agriculture and everything. And uh, we have put so much trust in the horse. For example. Uh, we are using the horse to, to, to gather the, the sheep in the autumn and get them down to the roundups. And I have done that many times. And uh, I remember more than one or two times that I have just uh, been in a fog, just completely lost somewhere in the, high, in the highland and I have just let the reins go and the horse has just taken me to the, to the right path. That's amazing. And, and so that's how I think Icelanders uh, look as the Icelandic horse, that it's an animal that we just trust and we is reliable and have always helped us through the centuries. Here we are in the Land Monologar, which is a very popular place in Iceland because of the multicolored mountains. And there's also a hot springs here. This is the farthest point in our ride. We've ridden for four days to get here and the mountains are absolutely beautiful. There's different colors all around us. We've got grays and greens and browns and reds and tans. I have to be honest though, my favorite part about it is just getting here on horseback. End of day four of riding. <laughs> and we seem to have acquired the Icelandic tan. Uh, we've heard that it's, uh, it looks pretty darn good on us. I think, it's a good, I think it's a pretty good look. Let us know what you think in the comments below. <laughs> smell a lot of garlic. Yes. We've all been staying in this hut right here. It's one room, it's got bunk beds and a little kitchen, two bathrooms, and it's been a very cozy experience. I think when we get to the next place where we're sharing some rooms, it's gonna feel like we're all so far away from each other. We have to clean the horses off before we tack up. And so I was shown this really unique way to get the dirt off of them. You pick up a rock, And instead of using your hand, when you don't have a brush, it actually gets these little chunks of dirt off of the horse's back. Little Icelandic uh, lava rock horse grooming trick. <laughs> I can't stop gawking. <laughs>
Icelandic weather. A little bit of wind, a little bit of cold, a little bit of drizzle. But we're almost to lunch. We're here at our lunch break. There's not too much around here, just a lot of rocks and lava. Here we go. People are coming just because they are host people and wants to, uh, wants to figure out how it is to ride in Iceland. Uh, many people have Icelandic horses at home and, and really like to, to come to Iceland and, and feel how it is to ride the Icelandic horses in their, you can say, their, their real nature. Uh, so there's a lot of people that are coming because of that. Then you have a lot of people that are just coming here to just for a new start in life or, or maybe they have a illness or sickness that they're trying to get over and and so so sometimes it can be really uh, emotional this this right for people so it's yeah it's, it's and that's of course uh, i get emotional when i'm talking about it because there's a lot of a lot of things that that's uh, that have helped uh, other people just to to get over something just be be just just being with the horses and the animals and, and the landscape and, and also just uh, good human people in a group trying to do something together. So, yeah. This paddock is a little bit unkept and so we're all standing around the outside of it when we get the next horses just to make sure that all of the horses are staying inside instead of heading out before we're ready to go. We took a break, the game is open, and off you go. But we just had an awesome ride, just flying along. Horses are running along with us. This mare, Ella, is a rock star. I don't even know how we made it over half the stuff we did. And she just took it all in stride. You're amazing. Yeah, and you're very, very, very fast. <laughs> so fun. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it is our final day here on the ride. We are heading back down out of the highlands, but we'll be stopping at a place that was used as a filming location for a popular TV series. Wow. Here we are at an absolutely magical place. Um, Game of Thrones fans might recognize this location as well. You can watch for it in season four. Look, we found your friends. Uh huh. I am so excited. I get to ride Hama again today. He's one of my favorites. He is such a sweet horse and he's just, he'll do anything and he's so smooth, so comfortable.
last ride, last horse of the day, last horse of the trip. I cannot believe how fast it's gone. I feel that the, a quest is a little bit good word for it. It's, uh, I mean, because it's, uh, there's so many elements that comes into this tour. There is, of course, the horse and the nature, and then, then there's also the food and uh, all the people that you, are, that you are riding with, the group that you are going to be part of. And at the first day, you would have absolutely no idea about anything about each other. And in the end of it, they have, they have accomplished something together and can be actually, actually can be proud of it to finish the job and, 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 and take the experience uh, with them home and so they can relive it. So, so I would just say to anyone who is thinking about just that adventure and, uh, and it uh, happens that the, uh, that the person is also a horseman and I would say that's just a perfect opportunity to, to let go, to, to let go of, of everything and just get into the pool. Woohoo! Six days of riding. We are back. There's the herd that carried us through. Thank you for discovering the Icelandic horse with me. And if you enjoyed riding along, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to check out Eastland's Hestar if you are looking for your own riding adventure in Iceland. Happy riding everyone. I'll see you at the next breed.